Here we are, picking up uh, where we kind of left off last time at the end of the Briansky-in Holy War for Sarkel, in which uh, the ally that we were supporting ended up winning the war. Uh, it's like I still got the ability to create a duchy, the ability when I die to lose some titles, which is never really that great. Uh, looking at my people, I'm going to try to find a place to fabricate another claim so that I can grow my realm. Try to constantly get some claims. Try to keep making the realm bigger and bigger, especially since I got Gavelkind going on. i got to keep making it bigger and bigger, especially the more sons that I have because I have to divide up my realm more and more for each son. Uh, my young wife has taken a passion for romantic poetry. She keeps reading any sort of romantic poetry she can get a hold of. Uh, not 100% sure. Uh, looks like I went for the one that'll increase her fertility so I can have even more children. <laughs> so I guess is isn't too bad. Right now I have uh, two sons who are in line to inherit. And uh, one son, who's actually the oldest, who's not in line to inherit, because he is not born of my married. Looking at my uh, decisions that I have the ability to do, currently looking at uh, how to adopt feudalism. Um, Kind of done looking at how to adopt feudalism. Seems I'm still pretty short on being able to do that. I need a stone hill fort. I need a uh, higher control of my tribe. Uh, absolute control, which I'm not even close to. I'm not even sure I have low control of my tribe yet. Looks like I'm going to build a market city, try to uh, start making more and more money out of my uh, realm. Uh, it usually pays off in the long run to make more money, I think, first, uh, at least according to what I've kind of read online, and I think based on my gameplay. Looks like I'm going to assign someone to tutor my potential granddaughter or daughter. I didn't totally catch that. Looking at my heir, looking at my other son, I'm not really sure why. I played this game, uh, I think almost three weeks ago now that I'm uh, going back and watching it. So it's always kind of fun to go back and watch it because I see all kinds of mistakes that I wish I could correct. But this is an Iron Man game, so I really can't correct the mistakes. Uh, an Iron Man game, if uh, anyone's not familiar, is uh, like a special way that... Paradox lets you play Crusader Kings 2 where they like encrypt your save and you can't really like do anything to like mess with it. Um, my liege, I have good news. Okay, I guess I missed that one. Uh, looks like I'm looking at, oh, I'm looking at this guy, this ruler of Estonia to see if I think I can take him on. Because I'm still trying to figure out if I want to fabricate a claim against uh, this particular county. I believe the answer is that yes, I can take him on, and yes, I probably should try to fabricate a claim. I'm looking at the uh, separate independent kingdoms, I think, here. Looking at the de jure kingdoms now. De jure duchies, de jure kingdoms, <laughs> uh, de jure empires. Wow, the de jure endish empire is really big. Um, maybe someday. Looks like I got a message. I think uh, someone wants me to help them in their battle. I'll probably go for it. It's a relative of mine. All right. Looking at uh, the guy that wants me to join his war. Oh, look, or actually the guy that I actually already joined his war. Uh, the Kevin Holy War for... Wherever this place is, way down here. 
because I'm still trying to figure out if, where I want to fabricate a claim. Well, not where. Well, actually, yeah, where, because I'm pretty much always in favor of at least trying to fabricate a claim. It's really not too much to lose. I guess something could happen to my chancellor, or people could get angry with me, but it's probably pretty low risk. So, looks like the guy that I'm going to help out is uh, my uncle, High Chief Vezolovalad of Kiev. I don't remember if I actually decided to uh, send any of my armies into battle for this. Uh, I think right now I'm checking to see if... Uh, let's sh oh, I think I'm looking around. Uh, what would be part of the kingdom of the Rus? Because I'd like to become king of the Rus, but uh, I, I think if I recall that looking over all the guys that I could try to fight, they were all a little stronger than I was. Uh, it was a little, since everyone over here is all of the Rurikid dynasty, it was very hard to figure out because everyone's pretty much allied to everybody. So it would all come down to, I think, opinion as to whether people would join my side or uh, the person I'm pressing my claim against his side. It was very iffy whether I wanted to take the risk on attacking any of these people. Oh, good news. My wife is pregnant again. Five prestige. Awesome. I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged, uh, yeah, but it really doesn't matter because the guy loves me, so I don't really think he would join any factions. So I told, uh, told my counselor, whoever that was, not to worry about it, or maybe it was my spy master. Oh, looks like I, I think I might have accidentally assigned that guy to Belisario to fabricate a claim. I don't recall. It was quite some time ago, like I said, when I saved uh, this playthrough. I kind of like doing the, uh, the after uh, talking, although it's kind of nice if I remember a little bit more about what was going on than I currently do. But at least this way I can kind of look back, kind of hopefully learn from some of my mistakes. Maybe it's kind of like, uh, you know, watching game film for an NFL team. I'm like watching game film for my Crusader 2 Kings uh, habit. Educate this guy. He's uh, just one of my kin, so I probably won't worry about educating him myself. I usually try to educate uh, uh, my children and grandkids if I'm not sure who might, uh, you know, essentially inherit my throne someday, because ideally I'd like the strongest character as possible, and I don't want someone else educating them and picking all kinds of random things for them. Uh, the one thing that I don't do, which I guess I should do based on what I've read a lot about online, is it sounds like it's like right before they turn 16, you're supposed to like put them to someone who has like a really important trait or skill or something, and then they'll inherit that instead of inheriting whatever you have. Because uh, one of my problems is that a lot of times my characters don't end up being all that great, so it's probably something I should do to try to maximize that. I think from what I read... It happens uh, uh, right on the person you're educating 16th birthday, so you really got to be like really, really paying attention for that. It's probably a little beyond what I have the time to pay attention to. <sighs> Looks like the war is going pretty well, even though I didn't send anyone down there. 
I guess I'm just giving them my moral support. 